So, what were the brand new Nike shoes that Rory McIlroy was wearing last week at the HSBC Abu Dhabi Championship? So this is a question we are all desperate to know. What was Rory wearing last week? And in today's video, I'm gonna take you through everything we already know about that shoe. So the first point, they are called the Victory Tour 2. This was confirmed by two sources, confirmed by Swoosh Golfer on Instagram, as well as the sort of catalog, the leaked catalog images we got of this shoe. So looks like the Victory Tour may be being replaced and these are the brand new version of that shoe. The second point we know is we know three colorways already. So Rory was seen throughout the whole of the week wearing a white and vault colorway. And according to the catalog, we're gonna see a, a white and sort of a gray kind of pretty plain colorway as well as an all black colorway. I'd like to think through time, more and more colorways would launch of this shoe. And of course, a couple of special editions as well throughout the season. Point three, according to the images on the catalog, the heel section looks like it could have React in it. Anytime we get React in a pair of Nike shoes, that is a good thing. Lovely bit of cushioning in the heel area. Fingers crossed, this does actually come to fruition on the release pairs. Point number four, and this is where it starts to get a little bit interesting. On the pair that Rory McIlroy is wearing, the sole design looked very similar to what you would have got on a Roshi G, but the catalog images of the shoe show us a sole that looks a little bit more like an Infinity Tour. Looks like from the images that you could get a spike design like the piston spikes on the Infinity Tour rather than your sort of standard soft spike outsole that you would have got on a Roshi G. Gonna be interesting to see what the sole design is like when the pairs actually launch. Point five, Rory McIlroy was a huge fan of the Lunar Control 2. And looking at the images, these shoes really do remind me of that Lunar Control 2. He won a lot of tournaments wearing that shoe. I believe he wore that shoe uh, in the 2014 PGA Championship and most likely as well at the Open Championship that year. Obviously winning both of those. So maybe going back to a shoe that kind of looks a little similar to this could potentially bring Rory back to his former glories. So point number six, it doesn't look like these shoes are gonna replace anything in the uh, the Nike lineup aside from the Victory Tour. I can see the Victory Tour moving out, the Victory Tour 2 coming in. I don't see them replacing anything else in the Nike lineup because, you know, someone mentioned on Instagram, could they replace the Roshi? I don't think they're gonna replace the Roshi. It's a nice shoe at a nice price point for Nike, in which they do very, very well with. Uh, so I can't see that being replaced. So I think this shoe is just gonna take the place of the Victory Tour. Pricing wise, guys, according to the catalog image, the price of this shoe was looking at is gonna be around the 180 USD mark. So here in the UK, that's gonna be around the 159, 169 sort of price point, which does make sense. Victory Tour before it was around the 150 mark. So uh, I can see that being pretty solid on the price point. So uh, it's a nice price point. It fits quite nicely in with the rest of the Nike Golf lineup. And the final point that we know, well, we don't actually know the release date. No one knows the release date just yet. So my guess for the release date, it wouldn't be any time soon. I wouldn't be expecting to see it in the next few weeks. More often than not, when a brand sort of has a player take a brand new pair of shoes out onto the tour, wears them for the first time, it's normally a little bit of a gap before we sort of see retail pairs available of that shoe. So I do think we really need to take a good look at what Rory is wearing in the coming weeks. He's playing the Farmers this week. And so it'd be interesting to see if he's got a different colorway on for that tournament compared to what he wore in Abu Dhabi this past week. But uh, my guess on the release date is it's gonna be in a couple of months time. I, I can't see it releasing in the next couple of weeks, but just speculation. I've been wrong before. I will be wrong again. And so uh, I think we just need to uh, to wait a little bit on this shoe. So guys, that is what we know right now about the Victory Tour 2. More information will come in the following weeks, the following months, I'm sure. So uh, do stick around. And if you do like all things golf fashion, do consider hitting that subscribe button down there for me. And do drop a like if you did enjoy this content. If you found it informative, if you are wanting to pick up a pair of these shoes, then, uh, then do drop a like and let me know in the comment section down below. So guys, that's me signing out. Peace.